Hello everybody, I am Jay Shady, and this is the Voice of Reason, where I always, always t -t -t spit the truth. Okay, so it's time to do a video that I've been wanting to do for a while now. WrestleMania 29, just over three weeks away, 23 days as I make this video. 23 days away from WrestleMania 29. 23 days until I go to WrestleMania 29. Until I go to MetLife Stadium, April 7th, 2013. And I couldn't be any less fucking excited to go. It's a fucking shame, you know? It really is. This is my first WrestleMania I'm going to since WrestleMania 20, which was at MSG. And it's just nothing like the excitement that I had back when I was going to WrestleMania 20. I remember I was so excited to go to WrestleMania 20. There was uh, the return of the Rock and Sock Connection versus Evolution. You had Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Yeah, I know the match was a fucking total bomb. But building up to it and knowing that was going to happen was exciting. You had uh, Shawn Michaels in the main event for the world title. I was just so excited. I'm going to see the 20th anniversary of WrestleMania. Now WrestleMania comes back, you know, to the back, back, uh, backyard of New York, I guess, to the backyard of New York, and all the fucking excitement is drained. There is no excitement. There's nothing happening. I, you know, I have so many people on YouTube that are going to WrestleMania 29. Nobody's like fucking excited. It doesn't even feel like WrestleMania season. So it is time for me to talk about how much this road to WrestleMania 29 sucks complete fucking dick. First of all, there's just nothing special about this WrestleMania. There's nothing unique. In my opinion, even if WrestleMania is bad, every WrestleMania should be special. It should be set apart from every other WrestleMania. It should be its own unique thing. But this WrestleMania just feels like a rehash from WrestleMania 28, a rehash from SummerSlam 2012. It's all these rematches. There's nothing special about this. There's nothing that makes this WrestleMania stand out from all the others because you're seeing a bunch of shit that we've already seen. It's all rematches, you know. I was watching the Road to WrestleMania 19 a couple days ago. I was watching a bunch of uh, Raws from the Road to WrestleMania 19 and it was so just exciting. So just an epic build-up. You had Stone Cold and The Rock feuding. You had uh, Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho. Vince McMahon and Hulk Hogan, they had some great fucking segments on the shows, great promos, great build-up. You know, they don't even, in this day and age, for this WrestleMania, they don't even show the fucking old classic WrestleMania moments like they used to. You know, when you're watching Raw, they would show WrestleMania Rewind and they'd show a classic WrestleMania moment from all the WrestleManias. They're not even fucking showing clips from all the WrestleManias on Raw. It's like, what the fuck is this shit? This isn't WrestleMania. It feels like this is the road to Backlash, not WrestleMania. And for you PG people who don't know, Backlash back then was the pay-per-view after WrestleMania. The pay-per-view that featured all the rematches from WrestleMania. This is what this shit feels like. It feels like this is the afterthought of WrestleMania 28. The afterthought of SummerSlam 2012. This shit just ain't special. It really ain't. It's a fucking shame. You have... The problem with this WrestleMania is in the main events, you have four part-timers and two full-timers in your three main events. Like, what? What the fuck, you know? Imagine the Attitude Era, like the main events of the Attitude Era WrestleManias. Imagine they featured people like Brutus the Barber Beefcake and, you know, Jake the Snake Roberts and the Junkyard Dog and the Honky Tonk Man. How fucking pathetic would that be? That shows how fucking... Like, desperate this era is. How they just do not have any names that they have to rely on a bunch of part-timers. You know, I have no problem with the part-timers. I have no problem with Brock Lesnar being there, The Rock being there, The Undertaker, Triple H, whatever, you know. I get it. But it's just sad that WWE has to rely on them in order to sell a fucking WrestleMania in 2013. This shit is getting to be like, you know, WCW 2000-2001. You know, and, you know, TNA sometimes where they rely on old fucking people to do shit. You know, I have no problem with a part-timer match. You know, one of them or, you know, have them being like the mid-card. But you have all your three main matches. Rock, uh, Cena, 
Punk, Taker, and Triple H versus Lesnar, you have more part-timers in those matches than full-timers. You know, and I'm not blaming the part-timers, I'm blaming the WWE on their failure to create new fucking superstars to sell a WrestleMania. Like, how hard is it to create new superstars in order to make people buy fucking WrestleMania? It's ridiculous, you know? It's just a shame that, you know, all these old people have to, like, fucking put their bodies on the line now, you know, just to get some extra buys. You know, everybody's telling me recently, like, the roster is the best it's ever been in, like, five, six years. But who gives a shit if the roster is better than it's ever been if there's no fucking superstars on it? If there's no icons? If there's no household names, you know? There's no household names in the WWE. You go up to somebody on the street, you say, you know Dolph Ziggler? They'll be like, well, what the fuck did you say to me? You know, they're not going to know who the fuck Dolph Ziggler is. It's just going to sound like a bunch of gibberish. Dolph Ziggler, Cody Rhodes, Damian Sandow, they're going to think you're just speaking gibberish. They don't know those fucking names. Could you imagine this shit? Imagine WrestleMania 15 not being about, you know, the new guys, Austin versus The Rock. Imagine those guys, you know, weren't household names. You know, that shit wouldn't happen because they knew how to make stars. You know, imagine WrestleMania 15 was like the Ultimate Warrior versus the Honky Tonk Man in the main event. Everybody would be like, what the fuck is happening? So that's what I'm saying. What the fuck is happening? You have, first of all, your undercard matches. You don't even have any fucking undercard matches. Because I hear Vince McMahon and Creative is flip-flopping back and forth what they want to do. They have no clue what direction they want to go. You know, it's really sad when all of the company's interest is only in fucking Rock and Cena. And of course, Triple H and Lesnar. You know, they need their precious Rock versus Cena match to go well. You know, they need to put all their investment in it. And Triple H just needs to... Fill his ego. He needs to make himself look like a big tough guy by beating an MMA fighter at WrestleMania. But besides those two matches, and of course Punk versus Take, but even that, that shit was last minute. Besides Rock versus Cena and um, Triple H versus Lesnar, they don't give a shit about anything else. You don't even have an Intercontinental Championship match set for WrestleMania? What the fuck is this? Really? How do you not have what's supposed to be, you know, your belt just lower than the world title and you don't even have a match set up for it. You don't have a United States Championship match. You don't have a, you know, tag team championship match. Just everything. This is the problem. Everything revolves around Rock versus Cena for this WrestleMania. And this is not a match that anybody wants to even see. Just let me talk about these matches real fast. Rock versus Cena. This is a rematch from last year's WrestleMania. Except it's 20 more times on uh, 20 more times predictable than last year's outcome. At least last year, you know, it was a dream match kind of. We didn't know who was gonna win. Now, like any fucking guy with like a fourth of a brain knows that Cena's gonna win the title. This is his redemption storyline. So I, I mean, all the unpredictability is gone. The whole like. There's no good feud in it. There's no like heated rivalry. Like at least it's not like. You know, you had the Attitude Era Rock versus, you know, PG Cena. It's not like that. It's a watered down, tame, neutered PG Rock versus the poster boy of PG. It's not about the Rock saying, I'm going to lay the smack down on your candy ass. I'm going to stick my foot straight up your candy ass. Turn that some bitch sideways, you know, check it to the SmackDown Hotel. It's not about that. It's about the Rock and Cena saying, oh, you're the greatest of all, one of the greatest of all time. It's an honor to be working with you. May the best man win. You know, fuck that shit. Nobody wants to see this brainwashed shit where the Rock has to hand over the torch and put over Cena as the icon of icons. And it's just going to be a shitty match anyway. I mean, the Rock is having trouble having good matches lately. This is a rematch, you know. Why do you, why do they have to say once in a lifetime, last WrestleMania, when they pretty much knew that they were going to do this? Like, I think they should be giving out fucking refunds for people who bought WrestleMania 28, because that's false advertising. You know, it's like saying, um, like, a band is coming back for one night only, one night only forever, and you have to see this or else you're going to miss it, and then they do another tour like a month later, like, that's just false advertising shit. So there's my problem with that match. Then you got Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. I mean, you know, yeah, we got blood. whoop the fucking do We got blood in the feud. But, you know, this is another one. 100% predictable. Nobody in their right mind would believe that uh, Triple H isn't beating Brock Lesnar. 
You know, they're going to do the... Uh, I don't know what the stipulation is going to be. If it's going to be a Hell in a Cell that's fucking retarded because we just saw that shit last year. But it probably will be a Hell in a Cell because WWE is rehashing everything for this WrestleMania. So why not do the same exact match except replace uh, The Undertaker with Brock Lesnar from last year? So I wouldn't even be fucking surprised. It's like this match I don't care about because I saw Brock Lesnar... I, I saw Brock Lesnar beat Triple H at SummerSlam... You know, that's all I wanted to see. Now I'm going to have to see Triple H beat Brock Lesnar and, you know, act like he's some strong guy because he can beat an M MMA fighter. Fuck that shit. Then you got um, Undertaker versus Punk. I will admit, this is the one feud, the one storyline that I am interested in, even though I ranted about how this shit shouldn't happen. And I still think this match does not need to happen. But since it's happening, you know, I am interested in the feud, especially, you know, it's like a... Weird, ironic thing that with Paul Bearer dying, it really made this uh, feud more interesting and more exciting, you know? Not trying to say any disrespect or about Paul Bearer passing away. But it's like the whole urn thing really elevated... You know, WWE is probably kind of fucking happy that Paul Bearer died because, you know, without that, it seemed like they were going to get a fucking tame, lame feud. But, you know, since you have that, you know, they're going to use that to their advantage and they should... Uh, so at least, you know, that one storyline is going to be, is, is interesting and it has my interest. And uh, if, you know, we'll see what the outcome that match is. I'm pretty sure that The Undertaker is going to win. If Punk wins, then there's going to be a problem with me and WWE. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch this shit anymore. But yeah, you have that. But then after that, you know, what the fuck do you got? You have Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger. This is probably going to be like the first match on the card. This is going to be like the third time in a row at WrestleMania that the World Heavyweight Championship opens up the WrestleMania, you know? Vince McMahon should just take away the World Heavyweight Championship. They should just have one championship because the World Heavyweight Championship don't mean jack shit. You know, just because it's the belt from WCW, Vince McMahon has to take a shit on it and has to belittle it and make it meaningless, you know? So Vince McMahon could fill his ego and say WCW was a piece of shit. It's fucking sad. It really is. But this is going to be the first match on the card. I'm pretty fucking sure Alberto Del Rio is going to win because Jack Swagger is probably going to have to face repercussions for his DUI. So um, um, Alberto Del Rio is probably going to win. And I would say that Dolph Ziggler is going to cash in there. But yeah, I mean, this is going to be the first, it's going to be the opening match, you know. Then you got, oh, you could have had Ryback versus Mark Henry, but no, we have Ryback. Sheamus and Orton versus the fucking Shield for the 19th time. This is the fourth time Ryback is going against the Shield, you know. This shit has been happening since November. You know, if you wanted to do this shit happening since November, I have no problem with doing like a long-term feud. But have, don't do those matches that you did with Ryback versus the Shield. Have this be the first one. But this is the fucking fourth one. I don't care about this shit. Nobody cares about this shit. Vince McMahon and Creative, they wanted to do Ryback versus Mark Henry, but... They kept switching and they keep switching. Instead, they put it on fucking SmackDown and, you know, they have the Shield feuding with the Big Show. Now the Big Show's not going to be involved in the match. Like, what the fuck, you know? I don't understand. Just because it's not Rock versus Cena, you know, they don't give a shit about it. If it was Rock versus Cena, you think they'd be doing this fucking flip-flopping? Of course not. You see how they're so set with Rock versus Cena. But since it's like the undercard, you know, it's not fucking John Cena, it's not The Rock, it's not Triple H, they don't give a shit. There's no, like, con continuity in the fucking booking, the storytelling. It's fucking horrible. i never seen such a lack of direction and a lack of focus on the road to WrestleMania. Nobody knows what the fucking matches are. How pathetic is that? You know, I paid over 200 bucks for WrestleMania 29. It's just, you know... Three weeks away, and I don't even know what the fucking matches I'm gonna see are. I don't know what any matches are. You know, you would pretty much have this shit set in stone after uh, Elimination Chamber or No Way Out, whatever. You would have the card pretty much set in stone besides, you know, one or two matches. Now we're three weeks away, we don't know what the fucking matches are. We have like three matches on the card, four matches. You don't have an Intercontinental Championship match. You know, you could have had Ryback versus Mark Henry be like a nice showdown. A nice, like, two behemoths, two powerhouses going at it. It would have, like, had the crowd pumped up. But no! Ryback versus the fucking Shield for the umpteenth time. Because the creative doesn't know what they want to do. I won't be surprised if they switch that shit again. Yeah, you know, this fucking sucks. This really does. I don't know what's going on with the WWE. Vince McMahon and the creative are so fucking lost. Like, 
Vince McMahon, just please fucking retire. You don't know what the fuck you're doing anymore. You had Vince McMahon blowing his fucking mind because of the... Uh, the Jericho, Miz, and Barrett thing failed so horribly, but you're the one signing off on this shit. Stop getting so fucking pissed off when you're the one signing off on it. If you have a problem with it, don't fucking sign off. Yeah, you know, there you go. There's my little rant. You know, this is just, when it comes down to it, this is not WrestleMania to me. This is just, you know, fucking a secondary, it's like in your house or some shit, you know? Back when they did the in your house, it was like a BC pay-per-view. I feel like this is just a WrestleMania for filler to get to WrestleMania 30. I feel like, you know, but it's sad when you go into the New York area, how do you make WrestleMania a filler pay-per-view when New York is the place that started WrestleMania? It's a fucking shame. It's a crying damn shame. Nothing exciting happening. The fucking, every Raw just feels boring. There's nothing special about it. They're not even mentioning uh, past WrestleManias. They're not showing past WrestleMania moments. Just feels like fucking bullshit, you know? There's my rant. Let me know what you think about this road to WrestleMania, this road to Backlash, this road to In Your House pay-per-view number seven. Fucking piece of shit sucks. You know, if you're going to WrestleMania, let me know, you know? Let me know how, you know, you're, you're fucking sad that you're going to WrestleMania just like I am. Let me know your thoughts and everything, what you think about this card. I am Jay Shady, the voice of reason. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.